Uh, my name is Sam Brady. I've been working here at the plant for seven months. I've been doing this 15 years. I was actually born a racer not far from the plant. My job title and what I do here is electrician. What I do is anything that has to do with any electrical here at the plant is what I basically work with here. Um, we have four substations on the co-generator. The generator is handled by the powerhouse, but everything else other than that, we try to fix and decipher or hope we can get parts to change it if we can't fix it. No power, no modern comforts. You know, the, you know, the basically eventually electricity changed everybody's lives back, you know, you know, Nikola Tesla, everybody else, you know, James Watt, you know, a lot of guys invented some of the basics of like electricity or electronics. You know, nowadays we wouldn't have them if those men didn't, you know, do what they did to further us along in, in civilization. My duties and responsibilities have anything to do with um, help they start up every Monday, so we assist in that. If there's something that's broken electrically, we try to get it fixed so I can get the machine up and running and making paper. Two daily rounds like I'm doing today, it basically takes all day. I check every motor, every system that we have here in the plant for, you know, basically maintenance. You know, make sure it's running good, it's running like it's supposed to, it's not broken, you know, safety issues, electrical stuff, stuff like that. Um, taking motors out and putting new ones in when they break down or turn the main switches off for the substations. <laughs> it all varies. Um, coming every day early, I come in 30 minutes early. Um, that's basically the military still in me. But uh, we, I show up 6.30, we start our safety huddle, which is basically we start our, our stretching. The USG does a stretching program here, so we do certain stretches, core stretches that help without help you, so prevent you from having an injury. Um, and then from that safety huddle, we run over safety issues that have to do with our job, electrical or, or other things that may be happening in this plant or another plant. And then from there, we get our jobs for the day or, or the week, depending on what job it is, and some days it's you know, training, we're sitting on a computer learning things or, or we're out, you know, running a bending pipe to cleaning things. My career started back in 2005 in the Midwest. After high school here, I moved out to the Midwest. I'm living next to Fort Leonard in Missouri where I started wearing houses and, you know, I was like, hey, this ain't too bad of a job. You know, not far into that, I got into other contracts that were right there on Fort Leonard would work for Army Corps Engineers, and as well, you know, I wouldn't mind doing this in the military. Found out they had a job, you know, what they call an MOS, that is specifically for electricians. So I went and did that, got shipped out to Fort Lewis, Washington, and shipped out to other places, and worked, did this profession around the world, and then moved down south for a little bit, lived the beach life, and then moved back home ended up here at the plant and this is actually the first time i've done electrical industrial wise so it's been a it's been a ride it's fun i love it i got my training through an apprenticeship program in missouri i was working for a company called qss they did an apprenticeship program called abc they have it here in new york state too i'm pretty sure and i did that for four years and I actually did that, started it, went in the military, did my time in the military, my four years, and then I finished it when I got out and then lived in Missouri till 2018 and then was a journeyman in North Carolina and then moved back up here. Math. Math would be a big, big one for my job here. Wish I would have paid more attention in high school. Because after you don't, it's a catch-up game. And it's constantly a catch-up game, especially when the math changes or, or you know, everything. Somebody invents something new, or you know, they come up with a new product or whatever. You know, oh, I gotta do this now, or and then just a trades trades class. I think Bosey still offers one here in Batavia. You know, if you're interested in any trades, that's a good program. We I've met a couple of gentlemen here have actually fell back onto that program for outside learning. You know, catch up here. But yeah, math. If you want to become an electrician, math is a very, 
good one to have. Attention to detail. You have to be highly oriented as in for attention to detail because there's some things you could miss that could potentially ruin a motor device or potentially, you know, end somebody's life because you didn't pay attention and get it done right the first time. Um, yeah, another one's communication. Like a lot here, we communicate with just every department here in the plant. You know, you go to an operator, well, this is broke. Well, take me to it or, or where is it at? We have labels and everything, but you know, take me to it. What is it doing? Or you know, I have to have good communication skills to, to get through what you're doing. Teamwork, especially in this, this setting here, it'd be teamwork. We have other people in the shop. You know, you might put on a job with them there. You have to have teamwork. You expect here is competitive wage. Um, they're really competitive in their wages. Um, benefits, I think, are amazing. I've had jobs places where there wasn't any or there was very little. Here, the benefits are amazing. They offer a 401k. On top of that, they have a pension here. You can't find that really anywhere else. Very slim chance you're going to find that. And, and your wages are based on a rate system. Like here in our shop, we have, um, we got done, we did away with utilities. So it starts at level one and you can go all the way up to pretty sure level seven. Not quite sure about that. Usually a five or six, you you're be a supervisor position. I'm a level two. Um, and those are all based on your rate and skill, uh, you know, how proficient you are in that skill, or again, attention to detail. Um, they also have safety incentive programs here. So what they do with that, with that is every quarter we get a sheet. We have to do it's five or six things on that sheet and it explains to the bottom of the sheet what we have to do, what we can do for that safety incentive. The whole, the whole plant puts in on that. And it's a, a percentage for that quarter and you get you're getting paid to do that sheet and you also get a safety incentive check whatever the percent is of that quarter you get that money back every quarter in your you know your your pay and on top of that right now the electricians are getting paid a bonus if you get hired on here so you know i said this place is you know it might be old but it's i think it's a pretty good place to work good benefits good pay What I love most about my job is uh, I love troubleshooting. I like trying to figure things out when they're broken, electrically or you know, or just device-wise. You know, what's wrong here? Why is it doing what it's doing? I love troubleshooting, trying to figure out what's really wrong. And I love that. What I love most about that is not every situation is the same. It could be you're working on similar you know devices, but something else could have broken it, and you have to find out what broke in it or what went wrong. Sometimes the difficulty in my job, sometimes you get, I keep saying this, but you know, different products in from even the same manufacturer like Allen Bradley and some things that it might be the same manufacturer, but programming them's completely opposite. And it's just like, ah, oh, it's aggravating. Um, challenging is the, the high voltage we work with. You know, we work with everything from 480 volts on up through this, this plant. And you know, you gotta know what you're looking at and what you're working with and you know, what it, what it potentially could do to you. Yeah, that's, you know, you got to deal with that every day. Hey, I talked to my younger self. Um, I would say, you know, get work on the things you want to do now or things. You know, get a jump start on it. You know, because that, you know, any advance you could have before you get into a job is just a, a, a leg up on base, you know, on the competitor basically some you know some of you're interviewed with in the same room or something or you have that leg up you have that experience you have that school or that certificate you know get started now going with an open mind you know you you might the, a career might sound boring when i got the job offer to wire my first house electrician well, i've heard of them before that, that doesn't sound cool you know i want to go take on the world i want to you know I don't know, become Indiana Jones or something like that. You know, when you're that, you know, middle age, you know, middle school age, you, you know, you want to take on everything, you know, and you want to have that job that does that. But going with an open mind, I went with an open mind. I had bills to pay. I was 20 some years old and I went in with an open mind, wired a few houses. Like, well, this is fun. And then from then on, it, it's been a ride since and I love still doing it. 
15 years later.